Hey yo, welcome back. Happy Sunday. Today we're doing an empties video, another one. Um, I think it was about a month since I've done my last one, so I thought it was a good time to, you know, revisit the subject again. I have a lot of things to show you, so let's just get into this video. We have some dry shampoo from Dove. Um, I have two of the invigorating dry shampoos. They're actually, like, different packaging, which is kind of funny. Um, but basically, Dove is my favorite brand when it comes to dry shampoo at the drugstore. I actually prefer the volume dry shampoo over these guys just for like the feeling in my scalp so I won't be repurchasing these anytime soon. Next I have a micellar cleansing water from Vichy. This is the Purit Thermal 3-in-1 One-Step Cleansing Micellar Solution. This I loved because it smelled like raspberries but it really helped to um, remove all my makeup. I could use it on my eyes and my face which I really liked. And yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I would repurchase it down the line sometime soon. It is a bit more of an expensive brand, so I don't know when I'll repurchase it, but at some point, I would. <laughs> I also have a face cleanser. This is like a classic one for me. It's the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. This is such like an OG YouTube favorite, but I really love this cleanser. I am still using it to this day. It just really helps to clear my skin, gives my skin a little bit of like a pop. And it's a really good one to keep in your shower as well because it really just makes you feel like invigorated and happy and I would definitely recommend it. And I've already repurchased it. <laughs> so next we have some body creams. First I have a couple body butters um, from the body shop. This one is the Virgin Mojito <laughs> and this one smells so nice. It's very fresh, very limey. Um, I got this in the summer when they had the sale going on, so I think you'll be able to get it again during that sale time if they have any left. I did love the way this one smelled in the container, and I love the texture because it wasn't super thick, but it wasn't super thin. Like, it was easy to distribute, you know? Um, the only thing is, this did kind of mix with my body chemistry a little weird, and it didn't smell near as good as it did in the tub on my body, which kind of sucks. It was so good, like I still liked it, but it wasn't quite as awesome on my body as it was in the tub. So I personally wouldn't repurchase the scent, but I would repurchase body butter. I love it. The other one I have is a little mini. This one is the British Rose, and y'all know how I feel about Rose, okay? Grandma Mag's deep love for Rose. <laughs> Oh, this one smells so heavenly, and it has like a really pretty pearly reflect in it. I love it. I already had the full size. My boss actually gave it to me for Christmas before I left, and I was like, yes, because <laughs> I love it. So definitely recommend British Rose, especially if you're like a rosy person. It's not like a super powdery rose. It's more of like a creamy, sweet rose. I don't know. I love it. <laughs> the other one that I have is the Luminous Perfecting Cream from Victoria's Secret. This one, I actually got one I used to work at VS in gratis, which was such a long time ago. Um, and I kind of just like left it in the bottom of my drawer because I had like a tiny bit left and I was like saving it to use on my body some. I don't know. This smelled really nice. This was like the passion flower scent, I think. I really like the smell, but it has like gold shimmer in it, so. On somebody with a deeper skin tone, it might look better, but for me, it was like, oh my gosh, I have shimmer on my legs right now, and like, I didn't always want that, you know, and it was just really noticeable. So for my skin tone, personally, I'm gonna stick with the British Rose, just because the shimmer doesn't show up, it just looks like a natural glow. It wasn't quite the texture as well that I love, so to be honest, I'm not gonna repurchase it. Next up, I have like a little sample from Murad. This is their City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. And you guys, I really like this moisturizer. It was like a nice whipped consistency, um, very hydrating. Yeah, it had like a interesting scent that I really liked. Like slightly citrusy, but not really. It was kind of weird, but I really like this cream. I definitely recommend it. It made me want to try more products from Murad except it's really expensive. So I don't know if I will, but I did like it. If you can get a sample, I'd recommend. Next I have a little fresh Sugar Rose lip balm. Oh, I love this, you guys. You know I love it. I especially use this in the summertime because it's so hydrating and it just gives you like a really nice light amount of, you know, rosy color. Also smells like lemon. Oh my gosh, love. I already have another little mini backup to use now, so I won't be repurchasing this one like right away, but once I run out of that one, I will totally talk a little bit more about makeup. I do have a primer. This is the Body Shop Skin Primer Moisturize It. 
You know, if you've been around my channel for a while, that I absolutely love this stuff. <laughs> I actually have backups of it in my collection because it went on sale when I was at work and I was like, huh? Is this like leaving? And I really hope it's not, but I think it might be discontinued, which sucks. So if you can get it online or like you see it in store, I would snatch that baby up because it's a really nice moisturizer. It's so similar to the Makeup Forever moisturizing primer, but it is like half the price regular price or like a quarter on sale. <laughs> so I recommend it. It's really hydrating and it's just like a nice gel texture, but my skin just like drank this stuff up. I love it. Next up I have a body wash from Dove. This is the Go Fresh Restore Body Wash in the Blue Fig and Orange Blossom scent. This, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of this because I mean I understand it's really hydrating, but for me I kind of like gel body washes a little bit better because I feel like they kind of clean me a little better and also a little goes a longer way, you know? This one did have a nice smell, but eh, this wasn't my fave. I don't think I'll repurchase this one anytime soon. So I also have this little body balm. This is by Lulu Blossom and it's the Dreamsicle Body Balm. This I actually used in my cuticles for a while. I personally found it got really sticky and kind of hard to work with near the end, so eh. Would I recommend? No. <laughs> it just wasn't my fave. I'm still looking for like the prime cuticle oil or butter. So let me know in the comments if you have like a favorite one. But this was just meh. Next I have two packages of the Ola Henriksen Truth on the Glow Cleansing Cloths. I just talked about these in my March favorites. You know I'm obsessed. I have one of the old packaging, one of the new packaging. <laughs> I will definitely be repurchasing these. As I mentioned like many times, I'm waiting for the Sephora sale, but I just love them. They really clear my skin of any kind of dirt, oil, grossness that's been kind of building up throughout the day. And they also really help just give you a little bit of vitamin C. And I just think these are amazing. So definitely worth a little bit of a splurge, but yeah. I have another dry shampoo in here. This is the Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo. This was pretty popular. I think Tati talked about this a while back. You know, this I liked. It had like a grapefruit smell, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a grapefruit scent. Now, the only thing I wasn't as a big a fan of is that the nozzle of this one broke. So I still have stuff in it that I just can't get to. I found that with a lot of these kind of dry shampoos that I've had in the past, it's like the, this kind of nozzle just doesn't like to hang out. <laughs> it's like, bye, I'm done, you know? And even though this is a drugstore item, I still feel kind of annoyed that I still have product in there. So personally, I like the Dove one because it has a better nozzle. Let me show you. It has like just a nicer nozzle and it just works so much better. So if I'm gonna choose one at the drugstore, I'm gonna stick with my Dove. I also have a facial cleanser. This one is by Clarisonic, if you can believe it. I actually got this when I got my Clarisonic, but this is the refreshing gel cleanser and it's a foaming style. This one I did like, like it was nice, but to me it's nothing special. Oh yeah, it had like a nice kind of florally scent to it. Um, it was okay, like it definitely cleared my skin, but I don't think it's anything to like write home about. I will be repurchasing it. I also have some body wash from the body shop, of course. I have the Virgin Mojito. Uh, the pink grapefruit again, and also Satsuma, and I think I have one more in here actually. I love coconut. <laughs> so um, these three here, the mojito, pink grapefruit, and Satsuma are like the classic gel style. I love them. They're my fave. Satsuma is my top fave. I actually have like a full massive jumbo one with a pump in my shower right now, so love that one. Um, I also love these guys too, but I think my top fave of these three is definitely Satsuma. And then the coconut one is actually a shower cream. So it's a bit more of a hydrating experience. Now I love the scent of it. Like, oh, so good. I had a friend at work. You know who you are. <laughs> um, and she was like obsessed with coconut. Um, and she was like, you need to try the coconut shower cream. Like, just go for it. And I was like, okay. And I really like this stuff. I just wish it was a gel. <laughs> personally because I feel like I just feel more clean after using a gel and I don't know why that is but I love the smell I probably will repurchase it sometime in the future but you know I still have so much body wash to use right now next up I have the elf under eye concealer this one is so nice you guys if you've been watching me for a while I have always raved about this I don't use the highlight side because it's just like a bunch of shimmer in a liquid, but the actual concealer side is so amazing. It just helps to brighten you up a little bit. Like it's a very thin consistency, just blends out beautifully. 
I just love it, especially for holidays, because it just really helps to, you know, pick you up a little bit, but it's not going to take you, like, forever to blend it out. And also, it's a good concealer to wear if you're not wearing any kind of foundation, because it doesn't give you that, like, intense, stark under eye and, like, nothing else, you know? Um, yeah, I love it. And it's super cheap, too, which is awesome. Next, I have a little hair oil sample. This one's by Dove. It's the Pure Care Dry Oil for Hair African Macadamia Oil. Um, this smelled amazing. Oh, so good. But to be completely honest with you, I didn't notice any kind of difference with using this oil. It smells amazing, yes, but it just didn't really do anything. So I personally won't be repurchasing it. I also have a shampoo and conditioner. These are actually the matching shampoo and conditioner that was with the Herbal Essences dry shampoo. These are the Naked um, Volume Shampoo and Volume Conditioner. These, again, smell really nice. Yeah, that grapefruity scent. They were very light on the hair. Now, to be honest with you, they weren't my favorite. They were just all right. Um, I didn't really notice any extra volume, to be real. But I think they've actually re-released this in a new line that they have. So, I believe it still exists, just like in different packaging. I just personally won't be repurchasing it, but that's just me. I also have this Tarte Ready Set Radiant Setting Spray. Um, or sorry, skin mist. To be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It smelled like cucumber, which I did like, but the nozzle on this thing was just not good. Like, I felt like I had to spray it, like, and then kind of walk into it because it just didn't, like, evenly spray my face. So I actually had to transfer this to another container, which was great in the other container, but still just not my favorite. I just personally feel like the NYX one does the same thing or in a better way and it's so much cheaper so I just am not a huge fan. I have another little micellar cleansing milk actually it's a milk. This is a Sephora Rose micellar cleansing milk. This I'm kind of on the fence about like I did love how it smelled like rose like that was really nice. The only thing was I couldn't use this on my eyes so for me personally I like to have a micellar water that I can use on my eyes and my face. So because of that reason, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. I actually don't know if this is available because when I bought it, it was on sale. So it, they might already be in the works of developing something new. But personally, it's just not my top fave. It was more hydrating on my skin, which I liked. But at the same time, I was kind of like, eh. I prefer just to have like a regular micellar water. I also have an e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. This is a really nice moisturizer and my aunt actually bought it because I told her it was really good and she was trying to find a new face cream but then she found her old face cream <laughs> that she thought was discontinued so she was like, I'm not going to use this one, do you want it? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I really like it. It's just like a nice, not too heavy, not too light daily moisturizer. Um, I know they do have an SPF version of this one now, so that's probably what I'd lean towards if I'm thinking of repurchasing. It's not my 100% like top fave. I'm still trying to find that moisturizer that's like, oh my gosh, you know, but it's good. I'm just, you know, not obsessed. So I'm sure I will at some point repurchase it, but just right now I'm trying new things. I'm just gonna show you a couple more things. This first one is the Body Shop Vitamin E Aqua Boost Essence Lotion. Now I tried this out because I have dry skin and what I kind of always thought would be my match in the line was vitamin E. Now to be honest with you, I don't think my skin loves vitamin E. It just always kind of gave me a lot of whiteheads, which unfortunately is so sad, but what I've now realized is my skin really likes drops of youth and vitamin C. <laughs> so there you go. You'll learn new things once you try things out. But this was kind of interesting. I've never used an essence before using this one. And it's kind of like a liquid that's a little heavier than a toner, but not like a serum. So it really is like tap it into your skin. I usually just kind of put it between my hands and just really kind of patted it, you know, everywhere and then I let it sink in and then I go ahead and use like my serum or like my moisturizer or whatever I was choosing at the time. So this was a really cool step. I definitely want to get an essence for my face um, but at the same time I don't think I'll repurchase really this one just because of the whitehead issue unfortunately. I also have a little mask <laughs> that I finished. This is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. Y'all, this is such a good charcoal mask. I love it. I already have another sample size of it, and I got my friend Dana hooked on it too because I got her one of those for her birthday like years ago. And we both just agree that's really great to clear out the pores and just kind of give your skin that nice glow, but like a polished, 
clean glow, you know? I actually use it only like once every two weeks because it does really get in there. If you do have more oily skin, you could probably use it like whatever you wanted to, like a couple times a week even. But it's just a really great basic mask. It doesn't have any exfoliant in it. Just dries down and then you just rinse it off and you just feel so much I don't know, just cleaner, happier. It's a really great one to use after you've been on a plane as well because it just gets all that gross weirdness off of your skin. So definitely recommend, already got a new one. <laughs> and the last thing I'm gonna mention today is this little lip balm. This is the Nivea Lip Butter Raspberry Rose Kiss. This was such a popular item when they first came out with these. And this honestly, smells like Swedish berries. I remember when I realized that, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like, a groundbreaking moment, it smells like Swedish berries. <laughs> Don't even ask me why, but this is a pretty good lip balm. The only thing I didn't love about it is it never really got kind of tacky or like, you never really felt like it was staying in place. It always felt very like it could move anywhere, you know? Um, it also kind of had a little bit of a white cast, so I really only wore it at nighttime. It's all right, but I think I still prefer my Laneige and my Dior and my Bite Beauty. <laughs> so I know it's not like nowhere near price-wise, but just being real, you know? All right, y'all, so we've come to the end of yet another exciting empties video. I love filming these. I just feel like I'm cleaning, but I'm also telling you my opinion. I don't know why. I just feel like this is such like a great process. It could just be me. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again on Wednesday. Bye.